Welcome back everyone, we're playing Mono Black and we're free to play and this is the second episode and I went ahead and opened some packs just so that we can build out our collection here uh, We got two commons, one uncommon and one rare and the rare we're going to do the same thing as we did previously we're going to go to our uh, water grave uh, build another one of those we're going to leave those for now uh, when we got four, I'm thinking we can add some blue as well, but we're not there yet. So we're switching back to black. Uh, we're going to get a lot of common uh, wild cards, probably more than we need. Uh, here we also, because we completed a quest, we got a Doom Decenter. I think a Doom Decenter would do much better than a Hired Blade, so it's out. Uh, we could probably take out another Hired Blade for a Resembling Skeleton. Uh, what else do we got here? Walking corpses. Yeah, I'd rather have the skeleton than the corpse. Uh, we got another murder. Uh, so we can put in another murder. We can take out a walking corpse. Uh, not the best. Uh, a 2-2 two -two bear. <laughs> the only redeeming quality being a zombie is uh, not enough to uh, have him stay in the deck if we have access to better cards, which we have in this case. Uh, so let's look at the possibilities that we have here for commons. We have four divest. Mm, we could go into deadweight. We could also go into duress. And I think duress is a card that we're, uh, we likely want in this deck. And also something that when we splash into blue, uh, the deck will probably be a bit different. But I think the duresses will stay in that case. Uh, so going for two, du two duresses here. Duresses here will probably be just fine, I think. Uh, and then we need to take something out. A walking corpse can go. Uh, now I think we're fine getting rid of a death baron as well. Uh, we're not going to build a zombie deck, really. Uh, and we can increase the eldest rebounds here. Uh, and with that, we can take something out. As I think a rise from the grave would be a nice thing to take out. So now we got two diagraph mana looking pretty good here. Got a good curve, really good curve. Uh, a bit too heavy on the three drop side with all the murders and plague mares and death barons and whatnot. But we'll uh, slowly uh, work on <laughs> getting rid of those in time, I promise. Uh, but for now, that's all the cards that we have, so let's do some questing here. So, let's have a look at our quest. We have cast 20 blue or green spells, we're a black deck. We have white or black here, so we're not going to change that. Attack with 30 creatures, that's possible to do with this deck. So it's only this one that we want to reroll. Okay, so blue or red, so I'm going probably to uh, complete this quest. Uh, when you're not seeing <laughs> behind the scenes, so you don't have to see my really boring questing uh, experience. Uh, we're also going to get a deck, unfortunately not a deck I think we can use. This is the white and green deck, so there's no cards that we want from this deck, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into a normal play mode here. We're not going for ranked. <laughs> uh, not yet. I think that this deck uh, can really work up at least to gold, even it's in its mono black uh, ways. Even if we're keeping it as mono black, I think it can uh, work itself up to gold uh, if we just get some more nice cards in there. We're not too far off, I don't think, from having a decent deck. Uh, but we're not there yet. Uh, yeah, it's a fine hand. We're keeping. We got lands, we got creatures. I think generally going for a Doom Decenter on turn 2 is better than going for a Burglarat on turn 2. Uh, because you want to drop this a bit later so that you get rid of their good drops in their hands, usually. Uh, yeah, here we're dropping this down and we're definitely, at definitely attacking. I don't think it's blocking. If he is, we're going for a Skulldug replay here. Nope, he's not. So in that case, maybe going for a resembling skeleton skull dagger play could be nice here. I'm trying that out. 
Let's see. Seems like our opponent has the black white starter deck. Um, yep, losing some life here. And see if he attacks into our skeleton. No, he's not. Uh, yeah, we're going for the beat downs then. See if he's blocking something. That would be very nice if he is. He's not. So in that case, whoops. I guess a Thalid or a burglar rat. Actually, no, burglar rat and a skull dagger. If we're playing this, uh, he's not gonna attack into this, but a burglar rat he might attack into. Uh, so that we really want to get some use out of our skull dagger here, if possible. Ending your turn. Yeah, he's getting some tokens, alright. See if he's greedy enough to attack with the lieutenant here. Nope, he's not. We're taking three, that's fine. Hoping to draw into our mass removal, we did not. Uh, so, putting this out. And I think going for a simple attack here could be fine. Still no blocks, I presume. Nope. Ending the turn. That is ancient. Oh, so that's what he was going for. Interesting, yes. Yes, all the flyers. All the flyers in the world. Cool. Uh, if we don't draw into our removal next turn, I think we are in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're just passing the turn here. We need to draw into our one mass removal that we built. <laughs> That's our only out, basically. We'll see. Uh, yep, yeah, can't do much about that. We'll see. Nope. Uh, let's at least have a look at that hand before we concede. This costs us a bit more spells. Good for that questing. <laughs> Actually, uh, I mean really do that if you can uh, play out your spells before you concede as we're gonna do now because uh, it ticks up your quest so not doing it is just a waste of time we can just concede afterwards there's not much we could do there uh, the deck is still in such a state where it can't really defend itself against you know good draws it's not uh, it's not really a complete deck yet uh, yeah we're doing that quest also off the of the record there might be some noise here in the background since I'm rendering at the same excuse me at the same time as I'm uh, playing this game we'll see how it goes see if we can uh, let's see if we can get a win here maybe that would be nice I think unless we're up against mm, yeah this is the standard black deck I think a fly here is something we have problem with this deck we have to rely on our murder card to deal with that um, not super unlikely to, not super likely to draw that card Corpse. It is. Oh, that's a nice one. Can attack first into the corpse, see if he flips it. Quite likely. Yeah, he does. Pretty fine with that. And then a Thalid. Corpse. Does he attack? Probably not. He 
he has at least has his death barons still in his deck, I guess. Uh, we can attack with this at least. See if he blocks here. Then we can play a grave digger. Get back our Thalid. It would be a Thalid play, I'd say. Excuse to pun. Wasn't <laughs> wasn't even punny. Still. Oh, that's that's so bad. Still though. Kind of good. Kind of a good joke. So we have our Eldest Reborn here. Eldest Reborn is really good against some of the more developed decks, I'd say. Not so good against the starter decks unless you get them to a very... Ah, I mean it's decent, you get a lot of value out of it. Okay, so we see. Is <laughs> Iron Blade coming to the rescue? <laughs> Okay, we might get our Eldest Reborn to actually kill something valuable from our opponent here. Uh, let's go for the Burglar at first. Let's see what he doesn't want to have in his hand. He's getting rid of that frog, maybe? Or is that frog something he is planning to end the game with? I don't get why this didn't get trampled, at least. Uh, it's so, so rude to get poor frog. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for the Yorgle. Yorgle! Yep. <laughs> Big Yorgle place. I do like that it's legendary. I think it's funny. I think they could have just given it a better stat line. Like, wanted to give it something like Trample or maybe, I don't know, at least four toughness. Why did they give it three toughness? Dies to everything. Yep, you're getting rid of that card, buddy. Yeah, not coming back. Or is oh, it could be a kill creature spell here. He's casting. Yes, he's murdering our Thalid. He's getting murdered. I think we're keeping this up in case he has something to block with. We're getting the. Most probably the Yargle. <laughs> Gonna finish him off with his own Yargle. Oh, we didn't need to. We got him. He be dead. <laughs> Next game. So, got a hundred coins. Soon we got another, uh, another pack waiting. I'm actually thinking... Uh, I should maybe do this series for all the colors or <laughs> something. It would be fun to have this series, like a video series uploaded for each color and like how I built it up and uh, I don't know, could be interesting. If you got any opinion on that, please leave a comment. Uh, I read all the comments, so... <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because my channel is not... Not overly crowded yet, so it's not it's not that difficult to <laughs> read all the comments. Ooh, I didn't oh, okay, I need to have a creature out. So cross the skull dagger, yep. <laughs> That's how that works. See if we'll get to murder these creatures here. Yep, that is getting murdered. Hopefully we can get a creature out so we can skullduggery that land well. Would be nice. But we'll see. Ooh. Spicy. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep. That's exactly what I want to do. What does he have? Another elf, another skull duggery. Yep, yep, yep. And I really want to save the murders for a better occasion here. Boom! Goes the skeleton. Okay. Let's see if we need to murder that. I 
at some point. Uh, it's not too many exciting things to have to have some spear get. We're staying back, I think. We can get something killed. Probably has something big. Ooh. Ah, that's nice. Okay. That's fine. We can just murder an Elder Street one. Facing up some, against some good cards here. And still this deck holding strong. Yeah, it's sacrificed death, buddy. Well, if we're really lucky, he's holding a spell card here. It's a gold. <laughs> okay. Might be an interesting standoff here, Carnage Titan versus Galta, but it needs some some big creature or something to get that out. Okay. Oh yeah, now he's discarding it. I don't, I don't think he thought that went to me. Uh, yeah, we're attacking. If he's not careful here, he's getting nared. Boosh! Goes to nair. And boom goes the skeleton. Coming back. Yet another time for another round. Another skeleton round. Okay. That's too bad. <laughs> Guess we need the Galta now, right? nice with the, another Alice Reborn. We have two in the deck, right? So <laughs> Ooh, or this. <laughs> I'm fine with a murder. Murder. I'm getting away with murder here. Yeah, boom. Boom, shakalakalak. Another win! This is going swimmingly. And some more coins and a booster pack. Don't mind if I do. I'm getting an uncommon. I'm getting a rare. Thief of Sanity. Hmm, that's interesting. We're going into blue soon, so might have a use for this. Deadweight, another good great card for this deck. Let's go into uh, let's buy another pack first. See what we can get. With rival. Yep, that's nothing really that we need. Could use this, I don't think we're going to, but it's a possibility, it's a decent card. Uh, yes. So, what we're gonna add, we have one uncommon, that's not too much. I think the Eldest Reborn, getting another one of those is the best thing we can go for in this, uh, this deck right now. We can take out a Baron, and we got a dead weight as well. Probably bring in a dead weight and out with what exactly? We're starting to shape up. There's actually, I think Gravedigger has to go here. It's the worst card of the bunch. Let's do another game. Soon we'll have another pack from those quest rewards. I mean, this deck is shaping up real quick. Real, real quick, I'd say. Uh, we, of course, want to get rid of the Talids and everything in time, but uh, I think they work for the time being. They're fine. Don't see a problem. Skullduggery is, of course, at some point, but... I mean, they're decent cards for being, you know, being com in the common stuff. They're fine. 
Ralph versus Enio. Uh, he's just an imposter. Pretending to play white, but playing red. What a imposter. Trying to fool us. Skullduggery and the burglar rat can often make something happen. We'll see if we do something with that right here. Okay, we have a possibly a good play for Skullduggery. Let's see if he does anything here. If he blocks, maybe. No, no blocks. Playing out this, having keeping Skullduggery up. Bugler is fine. Okay, another bugler. Going to attacks. Not I don't think he's going to attack into the skeleton. I would be surprised. Oh he is. Um I think we're just yeah, fine with a block here. Uh, we can kill the bugler with the rat. And the skull dog. We're fine with that. Mm. And here we can just attack with the rat. And we can run here and put a lag, but he dies. Another skeleton. The one one's really <laughs> keeping the board clear. <laughs> Without any board clear. <laughs> okay, I gotta, gotta quit the puns now. Gotta lay off the lay off the puns, buddy. Okay, I think we're murdering that mentor. Then we're attacking him with just a rat. Keeping the skeleton up for blocking duty. And we'll see what it plays. Menace. Grillmaster. But that insta kill is getting huge. Hmm. Hmm. As well, block that. Um, let's see what we have in the bin here. Only this guy, okay. Let's buy out these then. And no attacks. Let's keep blocking for some time. When you're playing this kind of deck, you're fine with, you know, grinding them down slowly. That's basically what this kind of deck does. We don't need to uh, be too stressed. You could have the, the give plus to everything and attack, but I don't, I don't think we can do much else than stay back. Okay. So we're either killing this guy or this guy, we can't kill both. So I think we're taking three here. I think that's a fine plan. So <laughs> this guy is getting down next turn. That's probably something we might consider murdering. Let's go for a, let's see. Problem is if he doesn't block, could go for a resembling skeleton attack here. Nope, not falling for that trick. 
Doesn't seem like we'll get much more use, and I would like to get this back with Grey Big anyways. Eh? This way we can block the brute. If he comes crashing in, at least we can block the bugler. Okay, both of them. I'm fine trading away my Thalid and getting it back with Gravedigger. Okay. Yeah. I think we're taking three here. That's fine. Need to kill off the buglers. Pretty good card against this deck. Let's see what we have here. We have a burglar rat, which can prevent this. Or I go for a. Hmm. We could go for a murder here on the Kinjali Sunwing. It's not the worst. Does he have something bigger though? That's what I wonder. It seems like he's only playing small creatures, so. This could no attacks. We're slowly but surely getting there, I think. If we getting back the plague mirror when he's played play the goblin instigator could be real nice, huh? It's probably going for an attack. Uh, and this time I think we are going all in on this brute here instead. Change of tax going down to 10. Yeah, he's assigning his combat damage. That's the right way to do it. Good opponent. And here we're getting back our uh, plague mirror. Yep. And killing off those tokens. Now we're in a comfortable board state. If we could draw like an Eldest Reborn, that would be pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, we don't have good attacks, so we're staying back. Drawing some lands. Our opponent has also drawn a lot of lands, so we're equal in that regard. <laughs> we'll see if we can get out of this stalemate any removal could do it at some point we're going to put in a sword here Ooh. yeah we're doing it now bugler is pretty nice to get back with this deck if we can look at the top cards, we can probably find another creature as well. Yeah, you're sacrificing your bugler there, bud. And then we're attacking. It's got a cage. Yeah. For sure, taking our Eldest Reborn. Okay. <laughs> is he going? Is he on the beat down thing? Seems like. Okay. That looks pretty good tempo. Uh, mm hmm. I think we want to block those tokens. Don't want to get blown out by another one of those. This is a real good card. If he draws multiple of these, we might be in trouble. Uh, yeah, we're blocking. Yeah. That's for sure. No. 
Hold on. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> I can't do this. Okay, I can only do this during my turn. That makes a bit of sense. Uh, so I can either get. No, I think the bugler here is what I need to go for. Ooh, that's pretty nice as well. So we're killing off that token. Putting out another skeleton. And keeping the murder up. That's a pretty nice turn for us. Luckily he didn't go for the enchantment. So we got a lot of <laughs> we got a lot of, lot of possible murdering that we can do here. So we are just keeping back and probably kill anything that he plays now. Even if he top decks something nice. Um, yeah, I'll go for a murder in that. And just for the funsies, this doesn't matter. We probably got him here, and if we don't got him, he will discard, and then we will return a creature. It's pretty, it's pretty much almost fine, always fine to play out an Eldest Reborn even if your opponent doesn't have a creature, unless you want to kill a very speci specific threat such as a Niv Misset or something. Uh, but against a get deck like that you're uh, completely fine playing it out, even if <laughs> you weren't you know, in such a dominant position as you were there, right there. Uh, yeah, so that was a nice match. Let's see what we get from that pack. Yeah, we're opening that pack, and we're opening it now. Pack, please. Close to our next rare wild card. Ooh, an uncommon. That's really nice. March of Multitudes, really good card, but not maybe for the deck that we're running right now. That uncommon uh, comes in handy as the next Eldest Reborn. Uh, can take out the... Last Gravedigger. Now we got a pretty nice playset of Eldest Reborn running. Uh, so I think with this we'll start going for Pilfering Imps. Uh, building up to that moment. I think we'll even spend one rare card on on the equipment here. We'll spend one rare card on... Um, we'll spend one rare card on the sword. So pretty versatile card, it goes into basically any deck which plays small creatures and it fits perfectly into what we're trying to do with this deck. So Skullduggery, Deadweight, Burglar Rat, Doom Dissenter, yeah, it's a pretty nice opening hand I would say. Got ways to deal with creatures here, got a Burglar Rat, a Dissenter and even some murdering stuff that we can do. Okay, a bit of lag, that's fine. Uh, start off with the Dissenter. Oh, another, another Dissenter, huh? Let's see if he trades his Dissenter for my Dissenter. Then we can get him with the dead weight. Yep. Okay, so let's kill off the 2-2 two, two there, boom, and let's make him discard something. Ooh, <laughs> I'm happy we got rid of this, this would be a pain to deal with otherwise. I think we're fine attacking into this, I know we'll trade with a rat, so maybe I should just uh, attack with one, but that's fine. We're fine. Yep. Got another land, should turn. Here we can go for the attack. 
attacks first. Fungal infection. you have another trick is this the trick trick of the trick match up <laughs> wow <laughs> the fight over these zombies <laughs> okay i'm fine with that <laughs> what a funny funny little sequence of plays there mm, that's a nice guy Hopefully get attacked before that. Okay. Get him to flip this. Yeah. He's blocked. Mm -hmm. And return. Ooh, three one ones. Luckily we got Somewhere in there we got those mares lurking. Ooh, Dryad, yep. Uh, maybe go into full control mode so that it doesn't skip. You can press, press control at any time when, <laughs> when someone plays something to go into full control mode. Uh, now I can go out of it though. So. This is just so that it doesn't, you know, skip the end of turn or something. I had that happen to me a couple of times. Um, fine, not attacking here. Hoping to draw into our plague mirror at some point. Clear this up would be really nice. Uh, yeah, we are drawing lands. A lot of lands. But so is our opponent. It seems like. Last card might even be a land. Okay. That guy staying there. Okay. Trading off some dorks here. We take two more damage. And ah, four more. Of course, his creatures as well. Yep. And yeah, that mare would be really nice. Let's see if we can draw into it. Uh, okay, that's a land. That's not a mare. That's a land. Uh, we're in some trouble here. <laughs> Could have needed that mare. Uh, now I think, yep, we're donezies. Yep, that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose say but I always win <laughs> yep another game Let's see if we can get some nice games going this deck really needs that sword that I talked about earlier if we could get one or two into these this kind of deck I think we would really beat a lot of decks with just you know equipping the sword and attacking we're lacking something to make our creatures do damage right now. Uh, we have a lot of removal, and I think it's important to have a lot of removal, uh, especially the early cards that you get, because else you will just get into board states where you can't do anything. So uh, I think it's a good, good thing that we have a lot of removal, but at the same time we need something to buff our team, and I think the sword is the best way to go, especially with something like resembling skeleton, which just comes back and comes back and comes back. Um, we're fine attacking into that when we have Skullduggery. Blocks? No blocks? Mm, yeah, I actually want to kill that thing. It might come 
nonetheless. Got the murder, luckily. He goes nuts with all wrestling. Doesn't seem like he's going to right now. Um, no, you can take two. That's fine. I'd rather kill him with the dissenters at some point. So, at some point we'll draw lands. I'm pretty sure. We might put an aura on here. Would be my guess. On the novice knight. Nope, not yet. So I think we keep the murder up here. We can take an take a hit or so from Danitha. Yep. Let's play my target Danitha, that's fine. Is he attacking? No. <laughs> okay. I guess we need to start. Would be nice with another land at some point. I mean, we're kind of fine just putting out the centers and skeletons for a while, but at some point, we will need something. Oh, so he went for it. Finally. Okay. Uh, so I guess you're going to flip our first dissenter. There's another very nice card. Uh, if we'd had a land, of course, we would have played this. Uh, but I think with what we have here, we're fine just going for this. For the time being. Okay. Got this to clear the board whenever we draw a land. Still not drawing a land. Discards. No attacks. Let's see if he puts on puts on another aura here. He's got five mana, so I think he can play everything in this deck right now. Four or five. Oh, we got it. Got it. Uh, so I think we're keeping our token here. If anything else is fine to go for me. I don't feel like I need anything else. Everything else can come back anyway, so. We might take a bit of a beating here, but that's fine. As long as we survive, everything will get cleared up. Yep, yep. It doesn't matter how big he gets, he's still going down. Okay, and from some reason he probably didn't read <laughs> that card, I guess. And now our army comes back. And we start the beat times. Chaplain. I can bring that back then. Later with the Elvis Reborn. Uh, yeah, we can go for this. We can go for this. We've got so much shit now on our board that we can just. I think go for <laughs> for that. Even if it kills a token here, we got so much damage that he's going down. Anyways, uh, should we even play out the wrath? No, let's see if he keeps something in his hand for some reason. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can murder. 
do it the druid do it? And then just go for the beatdowns. Yep, that's another scoop. Nice. Yep, we're continuing. Continuing our journey through the scrub tears. <laughs> See if we can get another nice match up in there. Another nice match. This deck needs something like a sword that I mentioned earlier, or maybe some more top end uh, or mid mid tier. I would say good good mid tier drops like a three or a four drop. Might get there. Okay. Got a lot of lands here. Do we mulligan? I think this is still a fine hand. Uh, we don't want to go down too low. We're a bit lucky here with not draw that many more lands in the coming turns. And we even got a rat now, so now our Skullduggery comes online as well. The near Gilgate. Ooh, we're facing up against a real deck for the first time. Okay, this will be interesting. It will be very difficult, I think, for them. Such an early ass canter. But he's playing a Guildgate, so it might just be that he got this from the Game Awards promo code. Maybe. Or he crafted it. That's possible. Okay. He will outvalue us <laughs> with this draw, that's for sure. Can we put on the beats? That's the question. The beat downs. He has a lot of value now on board. And he's not playing a lot of creatures, we're not getting use out of these two. Is this the kind of a discard deck? That's the question. Or is this a. Does he even play creatures? If he doesn't play creatures, uh, then this will be very difficult uh, with three dead cards in our hand. If he does, though. Well, <laughs> he got a ways to deal with them. <laughs> Obviously. It's not a slow clock, but at least eight clock. He's slowly being whittled down. Um, yeah, you can take whatever you want here. If you don't have creatures, you don't mind any of these cards, I'm sure. <laughs> this is the rest where he doesn't pick anything. It's like, oh, you, can, you can keep those cards going to do more harm to you than good. Uh, a bit flooded here, uh, but we kept a four lander, so I guess uh, guess we're being punished a bit for that. Could, should maybe have mulliganed. But at the same time, we didn't know what we were up against. If we were up against a you know creature have a deck, uh, these two would have already been played out, I think. Um, what does he have? A witcher looks like. Not the biggest of worries, I think, for me. He doesn't seem to play creatures, so I think we'll try and find this out. Passing the turn. To get to our uh, eldest reborn here, let's see if we draw it. Otherwise, this will be a very, should I say, impossible game to win <laughs> if we don't draw it. 
we've drawn heavy on the land front. He is building card advantage with the Arcane's Encyclopedia. I think that's a really good card to go for in the... If you actually... What? Okay. That's not a good card to go for then. Okay. So here we need to go for both this and this. Target creature you control. Let's put this. Okay, we got there. Interesting. Then maybe this is a game still. And we got four beats. Boom, boom, boom. We will be forced to discard next turn, and we're getting his predator on our side of the tables. How oh, the table have turned, MCB. How <laughs> oh, the tables have turned indeed. He's got a search for a scanter now, though, so might be in trouble. Maybe. He's down low. Seven. He's taking a lot of beats and just filtering cards in his hand, but it's probably got a good selection of cards there, I imagine. Okay. Yep. He's not finding too much good in our graveyard. We're finding something good, at least in his. <laughs> Discard time. He's considering his position here. Got to throw away. You see? A field of ruin. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's not too useful against us, I can can admit that. Okay. Discard. He's getting anything. He's only getting the third part of his Eldest Reborn off, and that's not getting much from us. Maybe he's getting his own frog spirit or something, I don't know. Maybe that's how he plans to <laughs> finish this game. That's pretty nice. Nice little draw there. Uh, we're going with the... Hmm... Yeah, we're going with this. And then... We're going beatdowns. Going to beat downtown. Let's see if it blocks here. Might be suspecting a trick here. And we have one. So he's got Yorgle and he's got the creature that he just put in there. He's got a lot of things he can bring back. And by a lot I mean two. <laughs> it's a problem when you play <laughs> Elastor Morn versus Seated X. There's not, not that many good cards to bring back. Let's see. Another Eldest Reborn would be real nice here. Got four in the deck, so not super. No. Is there a creature left in his hand? Let's find out. There's a negate there. That's not boding well for our. <laughs> uh, let's see here. An attack doesn't do much for us. I think we just hold him back. That negate, though, don't have too much we can do versus that. 
We're hoping to draw a Murgo here, I think, and trading against the Predator. Or, you know, <laughs> the Nuts draw. Uh, but he has a gate up, so he's not gonna let me play that. So what to do? I guess we need to draw another card. Yeah. Need to draw something which he counters with that negate. And then. <laughs> and then. They will know the pain of the scriptures. Okay. Can kill a plague mirror deck, maybe? That's a really nice card advantage, ending game. Unfortunately, we don't have that in our deck yet. So we need to rely on some good, a good series of draws here. Could happen. If we get a Eldest Reborn, I'm pretty sure he counters that. If we get a Duress, he might negate that. So we have a lot of live draws, I would say. Uh, Trade with the Sovereign. No, that's not what we want to do. We want to trade with the Predator. An other land, huh? Yeah. Hmm. It might be too late if we wait another turn. No, but we need to wait. There is no... There's no non non waiting and winning here. We need to either have him tap out and then negate. Such a great card. <laughs> I think it's really good in standard now. Yeah. Still has a lot of removal for our plague mares, which we don't care about. If he could just tap out or something, what would that even be? Tap out enough to not have any gates. He's playing a real deck. We're actually facing up against a, a real deck here, I would say. Probably all the cards that I've seen, except for Yorgo, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. But except for that, he's played... I think most of his cards in his deck are things that he actually put there because he wanted them there. So This as well is another card that we want at some point. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We can't take too much damage. We might be forced to block here. I think so. Because this will take another turn, so. Yeah. Unfortunate. But that's how it has to be. He's drawn a lot of cards. Unfortunately, can't you tap two more mana? That would be so good. <laughs> tap these two, please. <laughs> that negate. That negate. Yeah. This one. Yeah. We're pretty much done here. See if he misclicks. Could happen. Misclick on the negate button. No, he knew where it was. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, you gotta try. Maybe got confused and I don't know. So, played was our first, uh, you know, non-standard, you know, non-starter deck, an actual real deck. So. That's fun, that we're already facing up against such formidable opponents. Uh, at some point I hoped to make this deck able to you know, keep up with those control decks. It's a bit hard with uh, without, the good, without any good card engine. We'll get there. Christ versus Jand. Jand the Golem. I'm playing Jand. Jand Aggro. That's what it sounds like. Some 
American speak. Um, fine hand. Might even get him if it's a creature deck, which most decks are at this low rank. Uh, might get away with a scriptures. Scripture doesn't hurt this deck too much. Everything comes back anyway. So, so skeleton versus dissenter. Yeah, I think dissenter goes out first. Pretty good blocker. Okay. Novice knight. I guess he has some auras. This the it's another aura deck. Seems like it. We got ways to deal with that. Yep. We've got ways here. <laughs> On the black side of things. We got ways. Okay. Mm, would be nice to skull bugger. Would be so nice to block here. He is. One. No. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> Thought he was. Could give up mana for murder, but since he seemed to be. Uh, let's see. Did we play first to him? I don't remember. Anywho. We got a skull lugger up here. If we're keeping up. Might be good enough. Or maybe it isn't. We'll see. Or some attacks coming in, maybe. Yeah, we're blocking it. Um, is he pumping? I'm fine if we <laughs> if he goes for some. Maybe. Or if he has a trick, that's fine as well. Killing off a skeleton is not the biggest deal for us. We even got a scriptures next turn coming up, so. Okay. Not sure. <laughs> not sure he needed that. Uh, we can clear off the board here uh, with just a scriptures. We'll see if he reads this card, if he knows about this card, or if he gets smashed by it. Nice juicy board there to clear up. Yeah, he probably knows about it now. He's reading it. Yep. Now he knows. Everything's going to die. What will be his play? If everything's going to die, what will you do? Attack? Seems going to die anyway. I'm not blocking in case he has a trick here. Might run some buff spell here. Yeah, there's not. I don't think he plays anything out here because it will just die anything that he plays. So destroy all non-artifact. Okay, that's routine. Down. Let's have a look at his hand. See if he has any auras. It's weird that he hasn't played out any auras. Plus three, plus two, vigilance. Uh, no, we're fine. Let's take away the seal away. Uh, let's play out this as well. And let's go for the beatdowns. Got the counter to his 
little war leader here. Don't need to worry about that. Probably want to bait him into casting this on war leader. Would be would be nice, but then again, if it skips into combat, which it very often does, it can be quite problematic. So uh, let's see. Let's open our opponent's first main, second main. Okay, so we can't stop the four attackers, but we can deal with two tokens. So uh, especially since we got this as well. So, uh, so let's wait with this murder. See if he goes for the candlelight vigil here. That would be nice. Getting a two for one. Will he play it? He is debating if he should play it. is indeed playing it. You're casting it down. No fun for you. And you're beating him. Can be nice and just pass here. See what he draws. Opponent with, I think this is own brew. Okay. It's not the standard green white enchantments. This is something he's made up himself. Added some of his own spice. I think this is a pretty nice card. Unfortunately, it always gets killed when I play it. <laughs> it happened to him as well. Huh? So he's dead next turn. Unless, unless he has something. Will he? Will he though? Or is this just a land? Land skip thing. That's a win. Nice. Victory! Woo! <laughs> Feels good. Okay, so we got a card. Legion Guildmage. 